Hello everybody, um, Vicky here. This is just going to be a short little video. I've just received a parcel from Sue at Paper Inspirations. And now before I say anything, I am very blessed that Sue's a great mate. Um, we're really good friends and we get along. We get along because we think alike in a lot of things and we're polar opposites enough so that we don't clash. Now having said, I said all that because this has come from her shop and when you watch my videos you'll hear me say that most of my stuff has come from Sue. If I could just say if Sue wasn't a friend I would still buy from her shop. Um, her taste is very similar to mine so it just cuts out all the looking and scrolling. I go to her first and more times than not um, I, I get what I'm looking for and her prices are very reasonable. She's Australian so everybody um, particularly in Australia and overseas girls please have a look at our local our local shop owners, our, our web shop and, and try and support each other where we can. The big, the big people they're all going to keep making lots of money um, the smaller shops that have absolutely amazing stuff need us to support them. So having said all that, all I've done, Pippa's here. <laughs> She's trying to figure out how to get on the bench. I thought I'd come up with a really good idea. I've got a 12 by 12 stack on casters. So I've pulled it out for her to sit on next to me to try and keep her off my bench. Wish me luck. Okay, back to business. Now, all I've done is, is open the box up because, you know, my address is on it. So it, it always comes really looking very pretty. So we get some lovely tissue paper. Pink is her favourite colour. Probably should have thought about the noise, but I didn't. Now, I must say... 49 and market at the moment the, the collection before this and now this one I'm absolutely smitten with a lot of it I used up one of these and I got a, a replacement and when Sue gets more of this paper in I will be getting it um, 49 and market best stuff ever so this is um, what have we got? We've got 28 sheets, three each of nine double-sided pattern papers, plus one fussy cut element sheet. So it really truly is beautiful and it's great quality. Um, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of 49 and Market. Um, Mint, Minte, they're another really, really good brand. Beautiful weight paper. Um, it's basic book number nine backgrounds vintage floral so these come in really handy when you when you're looking for tags or, or something to put add to a journal like look at this this is just <laughs> this is just beautiful i went back to get a couple others but i do know at the moment it's out of stock otherwise i probably would have bought it all but sue regularly restocks so don't let it and and you can also register to be on an email when the next order comes in and like i said she she does the restocking often so that that is just wonderful now their papers are very thick is it 210 gsm um usually they it's 240 gsm so it's a really good sturdy paper and i've got my little note from sue and she's put it in a little pocket and sewn around it and it's got vellum on the front and then it's got some little tags you always get a nice little gift and those tags will come in very handy and then when it's in it's see the paper is just beautiful you could use that in um like i don't think i'd stick that down to a book because i love that paper but that would be perfect to pop into a pocket when you're making another one and then on the back of it she always writes a beautiful little message for me or for you okay usually she just goes mad at me and tells me to lift my <laughs> no she doesn't now this one i just let me get rid of this now Whew. there went pippa i'll just pop that over there i've been threatening to do a tour of my room here 
Um, I probably should and let you all know that my little, this is it, this is all the free real estate that there is. Now I get creative, um, uniquely creative kit every month. I've been talking about this. I finally got to use, I think it must have been September's with some Christmas cards that I've made, but I haven't put the video up. So I've at least started using these packs. And it's always been right, I'm going to get my uniquely creative at the start of the month I'm going to get in and get something done before it's two months old well it doesn't quite work like that so let's this is really really good value and Sue just gets it for me each month um, this and the beautiful mystery boxes that she puts out are just a standard order for me so for me to be getting things month after month they they are really good like I said if I didn't want it I wouldn't buy it I don't feel compelled to because she's my mate and I don't yeah I just I just don't have to if I don't want I get what I want and I feel very blessed that I have her doing it for me now this is a scrapbooking kit I, I don't scrapbook never have can't imagine I ever will. I think if I was going to do some sort of photo albums, it would be junk journal albums. Um, I take my hat off to people who do scrapbooking. It's all too... Oh, gosh. I feel, I feel a little bit constricted when I do it. I think what people do is absolutely brilliant, like I said. It's just not something that I feel comfortable working within within you know like one page and layering and yeah it gives me a nosebleed but there's a lovely layout for a card so that's really really nice now it's a windy here today so we're getting a bit of the traffic from a few kilometers away and Cody's a little bit antsy because he's neurotic and he doesn't like the wind so we'll just have to and then the cat's all over me so it's all happening here I just said that so that if you've got ear plug in, just just sit it, it just have it loosely. Don't have it right in in your ear, just in case. So they have a book of ideas. Until my head's racing, I've got 165 things I want to be doing right now at the same time. So we've got a um, fussy cut ephemera sheet. Um, they do. Oh no, that's a lawnmower. I think. Well, I don't have a studio, I don't have a, a, a sound booth. Um, we are all basically in our homes doing this. So this is, this is the paper that has come. Now, one of the things I like about getting a kit and why I don't look to see what the kit is to cancel it for the month is because I probably wouldn't have bought this. Now you might sound, that might sound really silly when I tell you that it's really lovely and I'm pleased I've got it. See like with this one here, that's for a scrapbook page, but I can cut around that and that can be the focal point on the front of a, front of a journal or a notebook. I've got glue on my hands, sorry. Um, now having said that I probably wouldn't have bought this if I hadn't looked at it, I am really glad that I didn't look at it because there are some pieces in paper in here that I really love and also the ones that I don't like quite as much like that check there doesn't do much for me we can check see it's got um, cutouts on that side that one's got more cutouts but I like the back of it quite often I find myself liking the B side more than the A side like that's beautiful and it sounds contradictory, I know. What do I mean when I say if I had have actually seen this, I probably would have said to Sue, I won't worry about this month's. But I've got it now, and it means that it's going to take me a little bit outside my comfort zone. It's going to be something a little bit different for me to work on. So it, it challenges me to do and be something a little bit different to because we all go to the same things that we love to do and there's nothing wrong with that but getting a little bit of a shake 
um, doesn't do us any harm and it gets us going in another another direction so I'm really happy I've got this kit so we've got some um, looks like jute natural twine um, now Sue does sell some of these things that are in the kit individually in her shop as well so we've got paper clips brads and we'll get embellishments so we'll hold it up it's um, Uncle Charlie Echo 1949 it's not uncle it's uniform sorry phonetic alphabet U is for uniform um, we've got stars there they're nice little padded stickers oh no metal little metal stickers and a little checker checker plate stamp and we've got die cuts here main street creative cuts uniform charlie papa 2477 so i don't know whether or not you want me to take all these out Let's we can have a little look at some of them so if i turn that over just all different seriously wow <laughs> i'd probably cut that in half um, Hey dude, good stuff. So there's, you can see that there's a variety of, of different bits and bobs. Um, they'll be fun to use. Some of them are going to really stretch my imagination. But once again, that is a good thing. Now this is a stencil. Quite like it too. So it is Uniform Charlie, um, Mike Mike 1764R prim stencil so there's that one um, these are little laser cuts uh, they're, they're very nice they're little, I, I don't know I'll have to ask Graham what this is uniform uniform Charlie Lima 1756 Main Street laser cuts Yeah, they're like a they're like a very very paper paper thin balsa wood, but I don't know. I'm only guessing. And this one is little padded stickers. They're like little padded ones, and we've got the alphabet and some little things down the bottom. And it is uniform Charlie Echo one nine five one. So these are all the things that you get within the kit itself. So I personally think it's really good value. I'd like to thank Sue. You put an order in with Sue. She prides herself with the way she presents her her orders and the speed that she gets them out. So I think she does a pretty good job considering how many how busy she is all the time. So if there's something that you wanted to get and isn't in the shop, um, you could message email her a message through the shop ask when it's going to be coming in um, like I said I did notice that um, if you want something and it's sold out you can put there's an area where you can put your email address in and she will notify you when the item you want has been restocked so that's gosh it's all happening out there isn't it lawn mowers sirens at least Cody hasn't barked and the cat took off in the other direction so I can't have not complained, have I? Okay, everybody, that's just my little shopping trip. I did without having to leave the house, which in itself is a blessing. And until next time, I shall catch you all later, except to say a big thank you to Sue. Um, love you, girl. And... If everybody could be kind to themselves and be kind to the person standing next to you, I think I would be very grateful to hear that. Take care everybody. Bye for now.